What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be talking about some SS, well, SR, excuse me, that you can use if you don't have Gother and Merlin. Now, a lot of people, a lot of people have been saying, hey Darkskin, I don't have Gother, hey Darkskin, I don't have Merlin, who can I use, who can I use, yada, yada, yada. Well, uh, these are going to be some people that, and these are SRs by the way, right, all of these units are SRs, I'm not going to have you invest in SSRs, right, I've already talked about, like, some of the best SSRs. Um, you know, Elaine, Green Elizabeth, you know, Green Meliodas can work, etc. Right? But um, talking about just SRs, right? That you can use if you don't have Gother or Merlin. And I mean, you should have Jericho, but I mean, I guess you could use these two if you don't have Jericho. That works as well. I don't know. Um, but before we get into the video, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitch, I'd greatly appreciate it. DS Gaming GC link is in the, the description. Uh, I, I stream almost every single day over there. I'd greatly appreciate it if you wouldn't followed me. Um, really cool streams. We just be hanging out. You know what I'm saying? Just grinding, etc. This, that, and the third. I will be streaming. You know, Final Boss King, whatever it comes out. So I mean, that's cool. You know. Um, but yeah, greatly appreciate it if you follow me, DS Gaming GC over on Twitch. So there is that. Now, also, if you guys want to play Grand Cross on your PC completely free. There's a link in the description. You can download BlueStacks, which is the emulator that I use. You can download Grand Cross completely free. Uh, it'll help me out a bunch if you do. So if you did, thank you. And let's go ahead and get into the video. So the very, very, very best SR for you to use for Final Boss King is going to be Green Gother. Yeah, I said that. All right. Now, listen, let me let me tell you why. Green Gother is actually sleeper OP when it comes to this raid. And the reason why... His first skill decreases skill ranks. Just all base d decreases skill ranks, which is going to be amazing because, like, literally, like, the lower the skill rank, the less damage he's doing, obviously. Um, then at rank 2, decreases skill ranks, then depletes the ultimate move gauge by the number of skill ranks decreased. You want to have a unit that can decrease skill ranks. You want to have someone that can do that. Well, de decrease skill ranks and decrease old gauge, right? Um, decrease old gauge is the big one. But if you if you go to the list, right? Let's go to skill filter and then go down to decrease old gauge move, right? Go through is the only SR that does that. I mean, you outside of SR Bond, but like he's a red unit, you're not gonna be using him. And Rimuru is not in the game, so right? Every other unit is the SSR, and most of these units are not in the game, right? So like. Go Green Gother is super good when it comes to that, right? Decreasing, like, decreasing the ult gauge is going to be really, really good. Um, also, I mean, his second skill is, you know, decreasing ult damage, which I'm pretty sure if he ults, you're dead. Doesn't matter, but this might actually work. I don't know. Um, but at rank three, it stops ult move, ult move which I I'm pretty sure he takes it off, so I don't know. But anyways... Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure he takes that off. But anyway, his ult also decreases skill ranks and depletes ult gauge by the number of skill ranks decreased. So, um, as long as you are getting rank 2 on his first card, or you are getting his ultimate, you are going to be able to rank down and take away ult gauge, which is really, really nice. Um, considering the only other units in the game that can do that, that are viable, are Green Merlin and Green Elaine. Uh, so it's really, really, really good, right? Uh, another good unit that you can use, Green Hendrickson. Now, uh, Green Hendrickson is going to be really good simply because at rank 2, he could take away ult gate. I mean, ult gate. At rank 2, he could take away buffs, right? And this is all enemies, right? Along with doing damage, and he can heal, right? And not only does he heal, he applies rejuvenate. If you don't know where rejuvenate is, basically you heal 60% of your um, HP every turn right which is really really good so you're gonna be healing even if he like say use uh, rejuvenate <clears throat> and then like he doesn't get one for like two more turns you'll still be getting healed every single turn which is really really good um it's ultimate's rupture which is whatever um double damage to buffed enemies actually pretty good it's aoe as well but i mean that's not gonna be all the damage like you it, i mean you're not gonna be getting super damage from that but anyways double damage is actually gonna be nice if you have it maxed out that's gonna be 1050 damage so uh super super good honestly then it's passive increases pierce rate by five percent per ally skill use so if he has max stacks and then he ults 
That's gonna be really good, actually. Like, he's gonna be doing some good damage. As an SR, pretty good damage. Um, yeah, really, really good unit. Highly recommend him if you can't use other, like, if you don't have other units. Um, moving on. Green Elizabeth. She can be used. Her passive increases all allies' HP-related stats by 10% and all battles except PvP and Deathmatch. Final Boss King is not a Deathmatch or PvP. So your entire team is going to be eating 10% HP, recovery, regeneration, and lifesteal, which is going to be amazing. Lifesteal is amazing in this raid. Like, the best food to take is lifesteal food. Obviously, if you have enough combat class. But, uh, really good. I mean, she, she has good damage. Right, uh, she's reducing defense related skills, but he's gonna take that off, unfortunately. But, anyways, uh, I mean, it's a debuff, so if you're running like Jericho, it counts. Um, but yeah, good damage. This right here applies Pierce, good damage. Um, and then her ultimate cancel stances, which is nice, but 700% of attack is like really high, like really good. So, um, yeah, just all around a good damage dealer if you're not running like. You know, Merlin, Jericho, any of them, etc. Uh, debatably a good unit to take. Now, uh, Hauser. Green Hauser. He's going to be mainly used for his... This right here, right? Assumes a stance for one turn, which inflicts damage equal to 160% of attack via counter when an ally is attacked. So this works whenever allies are attacked. It doesn't have to be you who is attacked, which is like really, really good, right? Um, and it's basically universal in the sense of, like, it's anybody, right, on your team that gets attacked. It's just free damage, honestly. His ultimate, pretty good. Disables recovery skills, which doesn't matter. But, you know, once it's maxed out, 800% is good damage. Um, overall, I mean, don't get me wrong. His first skill, you can, you can use his first skill for damage, obviously, you know, but not, the king doesn't do stances. And then, I mean, his passive... Increases crit chance by 10% per ultimate gauge. And then once it's maxed out, it doubles. So, 100% crit chance. So, he's going to be critting a lot, which is pretty nice. Um, I mean, but that, but that's pretty much it. You're going you're gonna to be wanting to use him for his taunt counter. Well, taunt. But uh, his counter, anyways, right? Because King does have some AoE attacks on top of having... Um, well, on top of him attacking other units, right? So if you have like Gother or something, he's probably gonna go for Gother first because Gother has type disadvantage, stuff like that, right? And last, we have Blue Meliodas. Now, this guy is always like people always like underrate him. People always sleep on him. He is still a good SR. Like he's one of the better SRs in the game. Uh, he has weak point on his first skill, which is super amazing. You can apply debuffs to King, so you can apply weak point. Um, he's gonna be dishing out good damage. Then, uh, assumes a stance for one turn, inflicts damage equal to 200% of attack via counter. At rank 2, it's 300% attack, and it is 50% damage reduction. And at rank 3, he completely just doesn't get hit. Now, keep in mind, keep in mind, it stays for the entire turn. So, if King attacks him three times, he's gonna counter three times. And if that wasn't enough, his passive... Increases crit chance by 30% at the start of next turn if he doesn't take damage. It stacks. So, if you don't take damage for 3 turns, he's getting 90% crit chance. Um, his crit chance is already 20. So, if you get this passive one time, it's already 50. Right? So, he's going to be critting quite a bit if he's not getting attacked. And then his ultimate, double crit chance. So, if you get one proc of your passive and you ult, you have a 100% chance to crit. Obviously, 840% at max. And then once it crits, it's going to be 160% um, increased damage. Uh, overall, pretty good unit to use. I, I definitely, you know, I well, if I didn't have units, I could use them. Because I don't I don't have green counter Meliodas, right? So if you don't have green counter Meliodas, if you don't have a lot of these SSRs and a lot of the, like, viable units, you can definitely use some of these SSRs to get the job done. The main ones... Being Green Gother, who can take away Ult Gage, literally, with his ultimate and his first skill. Um, you could also use Hendrickson, who is going to be able to take away buffs, and he's going to be healing your team, which is really, really nice. And then, I mean, you can use Meliodas if you're super unlucky when it comes to, like, units. Because, like, you're not going to be using Meliodas if you have Jericho, right? 
But I mean, if you don't have Jericho, if you don't have like these, you know, all these other units, he can be used. Um, but the main two are going to be Gother and Hendrickson. So, anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, comment down below, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.